Are we alone in the universe? Or is there extraterrestrial life right in our backyard? Mankind has been fascinated by extraterrestrial life since the space race in the 1950s, and conspiracy theorists and fans of space exploration have been speculating that aliens could be as close as the Moon or Mars. There are hundreds of NASA photos that seem to show evidence of buildings, fossils, statues, and even herds of animals. Are they real, or is it simply a cause of rock formations and optical illusions? Here are some of the most intriguing pictures that NASA has snapped over the decades. NASA has released some amazing photos over the years. Spending billions on space exploration means there are hundreds of images out there. And some of those photos have resulted in more questions than answers. Lunar orbiters and Mars rovers have captured breathtaking pictures. And if you look at them long enough, you might start to see things. The question remains whether the strange structures people have seen in these pictures are real or simply figments of our imagination. Can they be easily explained? Are they simply rock formations, or are they the key to unlocking the mystery of life on other planets? Prominent conspiracy theorist and alien researcher Scott C. Waring claims there is evidence of life on the Moon. After researching photos of the Moon taken by Lunar Orbiter 4 in 1967, Waring came to the conclusion that there is indeed evidence of some kind of civilization on the Moon. He identified fungus-like floating structures on the far side of the moon. The smoking gun is the fact that these bizarre formations cast a shadow. There is not really a dark side of the moon, as that is really a myth. As you can see, there is actually quite a bit of light. What is really interesting about these structures here is how they are throwing shadows. If they were not structures or they were this tall, they would not be throwing shadows, Waring said. Waring cited several other examples of an ancient alien civilization on the moon. Photos from NASA's Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter seem to reveal an alien building or possibly some kind of drilling machine on the moon's De Mores crater. You can see there is a structure here, and it does appear to be a solid object. The object must be huge, and it looks like part of the object is a circular tube, said Waring. It's not just photos from the moon's surface that have raised questions. Last year, scientists discovered a massive mystery blob beneath the surface of the moon's south pole. What exactly did scientists find? Well, it turned out to be a huge chunk of metal the size of Denmark. This massive moon metal could be shrapnel left behind by a giant asteroid that struck the moon around 400 billion years ago. It does make sense, but conspiracy theorists say there is something rotten in the Denmark-sized moon metal. Could the colossal chunk of iron and nickel actually be an underground alien hideout or weather control satellite put there by our alien creators? That's up to you to decide. Maybe David Bowie was right. Maybe there is life on Mars. The amount of strange objects found in Mars rover photos is staggering. It seems there is something new discovered every day. NASA is gathering valuable information and scientific data during these Mars rover missions, but conspiracy theorists posit that there is something more sinister going on. Scott C. Waring has spent hours combing over Mars rover photos, and he has come up with a few interesting theories about the Red Planet too. The UFO hunter claims to have found evidence of pyramids on Mars. The pyramids on Earth are mysterious enough, but pyramids on Mars? That's a real mystery. Waring says photos from NASA's Curiosity rover show evidence of tiny pyramids. He claims these pyramids were built by tiny aliens. Tiny aliens building pyramids on Mars seems very far-fetched, but sometimes reality is stranger than fiction. The Curiosity rover, which cost NASA $2.5 billion to build and send to Mars, has taken thousands of images. Many of these images are just boring shots of the red planet's surface, but some photos show much more. Conspiracy theorists and UFO hunters have spotted many strange objects in these photos. Ancient alien bones, alien fish fossils, giant crab creatures, artifacts from an alien war, and huge statues are some of the things that alien hunters claim exist on Mars. One of the most iconic and bizarre images of Mars dates all the way back to 1976 when NASA's Viking 1 orbiter zipped over Mars and snapped a photo of what appears to be a giant face on the surface of the planet. The face bears a resemblance to Elvis. It's probably just a coincidence rather than an alien-built monument. Is there evidence of humanoid alien remains on Mars? Curiosity rover snapped a pic of what looked like an alien thigh bone in 2014, but NASA was quick to point out that it was simply a rock shaped by wind erosions. That, however, didn't stop speculation. This is far from the only photo that seems to show bones or alien remains. YouTuber Paranormal Crucible discovered what looks like the skull of a Sasquatch-like alien creature in 2016. The debate rages on. 
we might never know the truth. There might be something fishy on the surface of Mars. UFO hunters got really excited when Curiosity rover snapped pics of what looked like the fossilized remains of a fish-like creature. The strange formation in the Mars photo was discovered by blog UFO sightings daily, but NASA says that it couldn't be a fish fossil because Mars likely never had enough oxygen in its atmosphere or elsewhere to support more complex organisms. Thus, large fossils are not likely. A 2017 Mars rover photo might show evidence of a brutal war between alien races. It sounds like something out of a comic book, but could it be reality? This one was again spotted by UFO sightings daily. Could this photo show a cannonball, or is there a simple explanation? NASA responded on Twitter, Mars may be named for the god of war, but these weird things aren't cannonballs, they're pebbles. NASA politely explained that they're only 5 millimeters and could not be cannonballs. But what if they're cannonballs from that tiny alien race that supposedly built the Mars pyramids? A 2014 Mars rover photo seemed to show the best evidence of alien life on Mars yet. The photo captured a bright flash that UFO hunters suspected was an explosion or alien activity of some kind. NASA scientist Doug Ellison quickly debunked the claim and gave a plausible explanation. It was simply a cosmic ray and not evidence of alien activity. There have also been numerous Mars photos released which seem to show giant statues. A 2018 photo looks like a Neo-Assyrian god statue, while a 2015 photo seems to show a huge female statue. While some say this is Mars' version of the Statue of Liberty, others say it's simply an example of pareidolia, which is the tendency to see shapes or faces in inanimate objects or abstract patterns. Could Mars be home to massive herds of alien creatures? Conspiracy theorist Neil Evans certainly seems to think so. Evans compared a Mars rover photo to an overhead shot on an African savanna, and the similarities were striking. Quote, I believe this to be a habitable, lush, thriving ecosystem on Mars. I studied the section of map for hours and compared it to bird's eye views of places on Earth, and it seems to be next to the North Pole he said on his YouTube channel, Disclosed Screen. The comparison shows that the images are eerily similar, but this could also be just another example of pareidolia. Curiosity rover and lunar orbiters take so many photos that it's almost impossible to sort through them all, and there are more images released all the time. The Curiosity rover has 17 cameras that snap pics daily, and the rover has been doing research on Mars for eight years. We are even getting better resolution photos of very old NASA photos, too. The Lunar Orbiter Recovery Project, which is run by former NASA engineer Keith Cowing, is working tirelessly to recover NASA Moon Lunar Orbiter photos that were thought lost. Cowing and his crew work out of an abandoned McDonald's, and they've recovered about 2,000 pictures from 1,500 analog data tapes since 2007. Between 1966 and 1967, five lunar orbiters snapped pictures onto 70 millimeter film from about 30 miles above the moon. NASA's Lunar Orbiter Program cost $163 million. That might not seem like a lot, but keep in mind, we're talking 1960s money. Images were sent to receiving stations and the satellites destroyed. Now those pictures are being released to the public in higher resolution thanks to Cowling and his team. With more moon photos comes more strange images. What new finds will UFO hunters find in these photos? Hacker group Anonymous seems to think that NASA is hiding something. The group reportedly claims that NASA has already made contact with alien life and is just waiting for the right time to reveal it to the world. A YouTuber claiming to represent Anonymous said that NASA was on the verge of announcing the discovery of alien life way back in 2017. Quote, there are many who claim that unofficially mankind has already made contact with aliens, and not just little microbes floating around in a massive alien ocean, said the YouTuber. NASA hasn't made any announcement regarding alien life since the YouTuber claiming to represent Anonymous made the statement. The rumor could be false, or maybe NASA is waiting for a more opportune moment to reveal first contact. We can expect many more photos in the future. Mars rover Perseverance is set to land on the Red Planet in February 2021. The new rover, which has a price tag of $2.7 billion, will take over research duties from the aging Curiosity rover. Who knows what new and exciting finds will be made by Perseverance? We will just have to wait and see. That's it, folks. What do you make of these NASA photos? Could there be a secret alien civilization on Mars or the Moon? Can these strange images be chalked up to optical illusions? Are we seeing things that aren't there and simply jumping to conclusions? Or does alien life really exist so close to Earth? Let us know in the comments below, and remember to like and subscribe.